Okay, continuing with the annotate tool. We did annotate in the last video, and then we have three other options down here. Let's check them out, starting with annotate line. So this option draws straight lines by dragging the left mouse button. Okay, let's go to the next one. Annotate polygon. And here you just have to do a left click every time you want to draw a new line. And then when you're done with your polygon, you can hit escape or enter to exit out of the function. And the last option we have for our tool is annotate eraser. And you can use it to erase your lines by holding the left hand mouse button. Okay, now let's take a look at our tool settings. So I hit the shortcut key N to open up the properties sidebar. Then I go to my active tool tab. And this is our menu. Make sure you switch back to annotate from eraser. And we got three things here. A color bar, a drop down menu and a placement menu. Let's explore them starting with the color bar. So when I click on it, this color wheel comes up and I'll switch to red. And you can see that changes the color of our annotate lines. Notice up here that this menu also comes up in this top bar. It's probably a Blender default. I didn't set anything differently. Okay, let's explore our second option. It looks like we have a layer menu here and you can hide or display your annotations. Okay, let's add a new layer. Okay, this is back to the blue color and let's draw some lines okay uh, we have a thickness menu down here let's increase that and you can see that that makes uh, the lines that we just drew thicker and before moving on to our third option i'm going to delete these two layers so we can see better the new annotations that we make. Okay, let's look at our third menu option here, placement. We have 3D cursor now, and it's uh, exactly what we've been doing. It uses the cursor to determine the plane where our annotations get placed. Next, we have view, and here it uses your view, the screen from your point of view, to determine the annotation placement. For example, if I draw a rectangle, and then I move my object around, you can see that the annotation stays attached to the screen. Okay, I need to erase those lines to show the next one. Surface placement. So this function sticks to the surface of the object. Uh, it's probably better shown from this angle where you have three different surfaces, uh, two walls in different directions, and then the ceiling. So if I draw my line here, 
touching all three surfaces, you can see that it automatically arranged itself to remain stuck to all the surfaces that the line is drawn through. And actually this surface placement is perfect for what I want to do next with this object. I'm gonna add some type of roof pattern. First I need to delete this line. And then on the roof, this annotate tool with surface placement would let me see what a pattern might look like. So if I draw some lines on the roof surface to make squares, I can quickly see what the roof might look like if I add uh, shingles or something. which is what I'm going to do in the next video. Thank you for watching.